Hi, we're going to do a little tutorial on how to clock and sync the Zeptocore with Ableton. So first make sure the Zeptocore is plugged into USB and now open up Ableton. I have a very basic Ableton session here. And in Ableton, there's two ways to sync up with the Zeptocore. You can have the Zeptocore control Ableton or you can have Ableton control the Zeptocore. So we'll do the latter method first. So for both of them, you're going to go to options, preferences, click MIDI, and then for Ableton to control the Zeptocore, we're going to hit sync here on the out. And now Ableton's going to send messages to the Zeptocore to change the BPM to 120 and it will be in sync. So at first the Zeptocore will be at a different BPM and it will slow down to the correct one. So we'll hit play. The Zeptocore starts playing and slows down to the correct beat. And now Zeptocore will be at the right beat when you start and stop. And you can also just hit record, and record and sync now. Now for the second method, we're going to have the Zeptocore clock Ableton. So to do this, you go to options, preferences, go to the MIDI, and then you're going to, instead of having the out be synced, you're going to have the in be synced. So you hit sync here, and then you're going to want to hit EXT here. So now the external MIDI controller, which is a Zeptocore, will control the start and stop of the Ableton session. So if we go to the Zeptocore here and hit play by holding B and pressing D, it will start playing in Ableton. And if we change the tempo here, it will also switch up the tempo in Ableton. And Ableton might take a little bit to match the tempo correctly. We can always stop and start again. So we stop, start again. It'll start at the top. That's it.